I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share this video with you because it's about looking 10 years younger, looking like you had a facelift for the cost of about $36. And I know that sounds crazy, but I have this on my skin right now and it is this little wonder worker and I cannot believe that I found this, but I am so excited about it. But I really do like this product. And basically what it is, it is a temporary instant facelift it's a facelift that lasts about eight hours. I had Alan shoot a video of me applying this for the first time and showing you the results. And I was so blown away by it that I thought this has to be a dedicated video about this little product. And it is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Temporary Face Tightener. Let me show you a couple of reviews that I found on it. The first woman says it really works. I don't know what makes this potion work, but it literally gets rid of wrinkles. I used it as a mask. You can see before and after photos. The only downside is that the full effect diminishes a bit when you remove the residue, but it truly is amazing. Okay, I'm breaking into this video two days later because my opinion of that product changed and I don't want you to think that I wholeheartedly recommend it because it turns out that yes, it can produce some really good results. And I have to admit, when you see the video of me, you think, oh, you look so good. And actually, I don't know if I look better or not, but I did find a different way to wear that product, which really helped. Let me tell you what happened. Thursday night, I was lining up products that I was going to use for a video about various products. And I thought, well, I'll try this one and see what it's like. And so I went ahead and I tried it. I had Alan come in and film me trying this product. And what you do is you clean your face and put just a little bit all over your face. You let it dry for seven minutes and it is truly amazing. I mean, you feel like a plastic surgeon is like tightening your skin. It's the weirdest feeling. Okay, now I'm going to use this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm Temporary Face Tightener. And basically, oh, can I get it open here? I've never tried it before. We will see what it does. And it is supposed to, I shouldn't use my mouth. I was going to uh, get this off with my teeth. Not a good idea, especially not on video. Okay, it comes out just like this, see? And I'm supposed to apply, let's see, it said, a thin layer, a thin layer, okay. And then you're supposed to leave your face motionless for five to seven minutes while it dries. Oh, it feels kind of like that sudden firm I used underneath my eyes for my eye bags and it really did work. I don't think I'll go down on my neck just on general principles. I'll put it on my eyes, we'll see what it does there. And I have the, the Marlboro Man wrinkles, which are pretty bad, which are right around here, but now that I'm putting this on, I'm supposed to be motionless. And then apparently you keep it on for five to seven minutes. And then if you have a white film in certain areas, you just kind of use a damp cloth and uh, go ahead and get off the white, the white film, I guess. And now I'm looking in the camera, right? Sorry about that. So I'm going to wait five to seven minutes and we'll see if I have gotten rid of any wrinkles or bags and sags. And now, I'm about five minutes in, and I don't want to make any expressions, so I'm not going to, because you're supposed to keep your face stationary, but OMG, this feels like, it has been feeling like somebody is literally shrinking my skin. I mean, it is the weirdest feeling. It's so cool, though. I mean, I wish plastic surgeons could do this, because OMG, I mean, you could feel it. I could feel it all over my face like totally shrinking things down and I'm, I'm getting too much movement here and it's not dry. I also decided to add it on my neck and I think it's making a huge difference on my neck. And I'm sorry, I'm trying not to move my lips. So I need to go and let this continue doing its tightening, but oh my goodness, I feel like I look like 10 years younger. I mean, I don't know, you guys comment in the video. This is the strangest thing I've ever experienced that you can sort of like, it's kind of like Cinderella. Apparently you can get a better look for one night and apparently you can apply makeup over this and I'll try that. So anyway, okay, let me go and dry and stop moving my mouth. Okay, here I am. It's been about seven or eight minutes. I didn't really keep time. As you can see, my eyebrows are really, really thick with the stuff. And so I need to use, they say to, Get off any excess with the damp rag, which is what this is. 
And then I'm going to um, pat off any white residue. Sorry, I'm right in front of my face, I'm sorry. Um, this is crazy amazing. I shouldn't have probably put it on my eyelids because look how much lid space it gave me. If you have hooded lids, you probably won't for an evening. This really is kind of like Cinderella. I mean, this is crazy. For a class reunion, I would so do this. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you're supposed to keep totally stationary as it's drying because you want your face to dry without any lines. It's really weird. But anyway, I did that and I thought, OMG, I look young. I was so excited about it. And I went ahead and put my foundation on and I did that video and it was very late on a Thursday night already. I think I started that video about 11. And I was so excited about it. I did the whole video, I edited it, and I even did the thumbnails. And that's where the problem came in. Because once I did the thumbnails, I actually completed the Instagram one and the YouTube one. And then I thought, what is that crusty stuff? Or what is that white stuff that's on the side of my face in that thumbnail? And I hadn't noticed it. Well, I looked at it closer in the thumbnail and I said, oh my gosh, it's that product and it's turned into a white haze. I thought, oh my goodness, that looks terrible. And I went back and looked at the video very closely. I blew it up and I could really tell the white haze was all over the side of my face. I thought I was looking so good and the reality was this product was, you know, dried and caked on my face. And I went back to all of the reviews that I found about this product and it is very highly rated in terms of the number of stars. And I had gotten a few positive reviews, but when I had that response, when I had that haze on the side of my face, I went back and really read the reviews. And this product has people that love it. They absolutely love it. They swear by it. They use it every day. And it has people who can't stand it because they say it is almost unworkable and very hard to use. And I did want you to know that because this may not be the product for you. So here's what I did. First, I totally scrapped the video and then I thought, you know, this product is really interesting and it definitely did produce kind of a nice looking result. And so I went back to the reviews and I was reading various reviews about how the people that could manage this product, how they dealt with it. Some people said, they basically put it all over their face like a mask for an hour. And actually that is in the instructions that you can do that. And so this morning I did that and I couldn't tell any difference. Yes, you know, my, my face felt frozen for an hour and I washed it all off. But once I put my makeup on, I could not really tell any difference. So I went back to the reviews and started reading and someone else used this technique and that's actually what I used now. And I looked at myself in a magnifying mirror and at this point, I don't have any crusties. I, you know, my skin looks good and I don't know if my skin looks more lifted than usual. So I kind of think it does though, but, but let me tell you what it was. Basically, what some of the reviewers were saying is go ahead and put it on your skin and that's what you do. You put it on your skin, stay immobile for six or seven minutes and it tightens up your skin. And once it tightens up your skin, then what you do is get just a little bit of moisturizer and put moisturizer over those areas. And I will say that the first night that I did this, I put it all over my face. But today when I did it, I thought I'll just put it in those areas that I really care about. I do use Botox on my forehead, so I don't really care about that so much. Although a lot of people said it helped just for the 11s. But I do have the Marlboro Mans, which now you can't really see them. I, You know, you can, but not as much. They're softened. And then also I have gels that were coming in. So I put it kind of from here to here and in this nasal fold area. I did not put it on the nose. I put it on the chin too, because I have a little bit of a problem there. But basically after I put the moisturizer on and then I put my makeup on, it still looked good, but I waited about 10 minutes and looked in the mirror and there was a little bit of haze over here. And so I just took a damp terry cloth washcloth and just kind of patted off the white flakes on there and I had a few on my chin and I patted off the white flakes but I'll come in closer and I really think it looks pretty good and let me look in my mirror too because sometimes these lights can be misleading let's see it really does look good so it is workable it takes a little bit of trying to figure things out to make it work but I am not totally sure I think that my skin does look firmer I really do I think that it does 
but I shot a video yesterday and I did not wear this. So let me show the intro to that video and then I'll come back and I want you guys to watch that video and help me decide if you think I looked wrinklier yesterday without it, if you think my skin looks improved today. And I will say this is exactly the same lighting and the makeup is exactly the same, except I did, I was, I was cleaning out my lipstick, so I was trying on a bunch of lipstick. So I do have darker lipstick than I did yesterday, but all of the face makeup and the eye makeup is exactly the same as when I did that video. Hi friends, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to share this video with you because it is a video that many of you have been asking for. Recently, in fact, I think it was last week and I think it's airing now, actually, I made it last week, but I did a video about my new approach to derma rolling. And in the comment section below, if you can tell me if you think that this is producing a result. I kind of think it is, but I'm not totally sure and again, I want to stress that I think this could be good for the occasional Christmas party. Definitely, if you've got a class reunion, something like that, it, it might be fun to use. But I think there's a learning curve to this. And according to the reviews that I read, some people mastered it and they really, really enjoyed this. And other people said, forget it. This is not worth the effort. Don't order this and think it's going to be totally perfect, that you're going to be Cinderella instantly because according to the reviews and according to my own experience, it takes some work. And if you do plan to wear this over the holidays to a Christmas party, something like that, I would definitely try it out a time or two because there is definitely a learning curve to this product. So let me know in the comment section if you think my skin looks firmer than it did in yesterday's video. Okay, that was a look at this rather controversial yet interesting product. Let me know if you have used it in the comment section below and what your experience was, or if you have any tips to make the whole process easier. We would love you to share that in the comment section as well. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love you to join the 50 plus beauty family if you're interested in looking and feeling your best. Okay, at the end of each video, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these, the good word cards. It says 50 scriptural insight cards. And I'll go ahead and choose, hopefully, a good thought to think about for today, a good scripture. Here's one right here. Oh, this is wild because this is actually the scripture that came up two days ago when I did the original video on this product. So we'll, we'll go for this again. And it says, look at those who are honest and good for a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. And it's Psalm 3737. And friends, this reminds me of something that I've been thinking about a lot. I have been looking at many of the older women in my family and watching how they age. And some of the most beautiful women to me are women who have that peace about them. And they have a really good faith in the Lord. And they go to the Bible and they read scriptures and they get a lot of comfort in it. Because I think aging in this society is really, really tough. Because this society tells us that really only stuff on the outside is important, or at least this society places a lot of importance on it. And you know, it is fun to look and feel your best and beauty stuff. It's so much fun. But as I get older, I hope more and more that I become like one of those women of faith who are honest and good because a wonderful future awaits those who love peace. And it seems to me that those women in my life that I'm thinking about really do love peace and they have a great life accordingly. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.